Happy Friday, everyone! Going live, Nadia Touch is here, and we're gonna talk wellness and we're going to talk about not feeding your emotions but eating how you want to feel and it starts with your next bite because again when is the right time tomorrow is the busiest time of the day as i mentioned in my previous message and you are what you eat you heard the expression and okay cannot go too far in the garden but here is the garden i uh, posted a picture yesterday encouraging all of us including myself to favor planting your own gardens for you know just being proud that you can do it just being proud of eating your old produce having more nutrients versus whatever you, you buy in commercial grocery stores and just have your own food but today we're going to talk about uh, maybe just for a little bit it's really hot let me see if i can get in the shade to eat how you want to feel versus feeding your emotions you know i think it actually comes uh, from early age where we uh, when we uh, learned to eat certain way maybe because of our parents our grandparents and we know a certain way we are like mac and cheese for me we had hot dogs with rice maybe occasional chicken i don't remember much fish and uh, tea with sweets is a big deal so if you ever saw my um, messages about childhood memories and then they're really connected with comfort foods how we consume foods even in our adulthood and then it kind of shapes our eating choices even up to now have tea with me actually came from there but i was able to learn to um, flip this opportunity to something that is not as destructive not destructive i still sometimes have my sweet tea but um you know we experience those emotions and then we go and have a snack we feel the trigger, we react, and then we receive a short-term reward of feeling better, which probably lasts for about a few seconds, and then we feel guilty. And feeling proud and feeling guilty lives in the same part of our brain. So, what if when I f see, feel, notice the trigger, I just, in fact, we talked about it in our discussion for the power journal what if i just pose and count one two three four five or backwards as five second rule book states and then instead of reacting i act i ask myself what's the less destructive way i can feed myself do i even need to feed myself right now if it's emotional hunger it's not a physical hunger emotional hunger has something deeper and more behind it so maybe it's making a deal with yourself and just go outside and make a couple of circles around the house you probably will not want to eat after that and if it's a physical hunger you again can ask yourself what can i do maybe it's a glass of water maybe it's a cup of tea maybe it's an apple maybe it's yogurt glass of water is the best because that's the trick to know if you're actually physically hungry so it's like level levels or layers of unpeeling what's behind it the other thing to consider this is for advanced ones is when you already have your comfort foods that are not commonly thought of as comfort foods some of you if you know me well enough it will be celery because I don't like it, but it's so long and crunchy, and it kind of satisfies that crunch feel, and it satisfies something to eat, and I just crunch on it. But what I also know is it's a healthy choice. So if you see me crunching on uh, celery, you might just like, is everything okay? <laughs> so what are comfort foods that are not destructive that you can find for yourself? Again, this is for advanced ones. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and then when you eat this food, in my case, celery, guess how you're going to feel? You're going to feel great. You're going to feel proud of yourself. In fact, feeling proud is such a reward and reward. 
positive, what is that reward? Mm. Behavior rewarded, behavior repeated. So then my brain will start asking for it again. So it's just easier to perform that habit. Okay. All right, my dearest ones. So a couple of things. We have our healthy eating challenge coming up on a Monday. So please join us or put in the chat or reply to my email if you receive this video in the email let me know not too late to join and also on friday not this friday next friday i believe it's 26 correct me if i'm wrong at 3 30 central i will be teaching which diet is the best for me we will look at i'll teach you 100 diets in 10 minutes you will love it and you will also have some information on how to eat if your body is inflamed, how to, what about intermittent fasting and uh, plenty of great tools. We will have five major points, but I'm really, really excited to teach you all 100 diets, most of them you've heard of, or some of them, in 10 minutes. So really simple, but very important foundational knowledge. Okay. So again, just keep an eye on the information. If you're not yet receiving my emails, the best way to... Sign up for my insights through coachingbynada.com forward slash insights. If you have any questions, just connect with me. If you're listening to this video, I'm pretty sure you know how to find me. All right, so please remember to love yourself, love the world through your daily choices. So don't feed your emotions. Eat how you want to feel with your next bite. Love you all.